Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how easy it is to install my Lightroom presets and how you can even further edit the pictures to match your color style. After you open the Lightroom, you're just gonna import the pictures in your catalog. If you didn't import the pictures, you're gonna click on the file and then import. But since I already imported some pictures that I did a while ago, I'm going to use those. Now I'm going to go on develop and here on the left panel under the navigator you're going to see the presets tab. Here if you don't see the preset this means it's hidden away and simply just click here to block this tab. Now click here on the plus icon, click import presets and I have already moved my presets into the desktop area and double click on the folder, control A or command A to select all of them and then click import. And as easy as this, the presets are imported. I'm just gonna select a picture to make this tab available and I'm just going to import all of them. If you just bought the bundle pack, this is exactly what you going to do. You're just going to import all of them at once. And also the vintage set. Now you successfully imported all of my presets. Now I'm gonna show you one by one how it looks and how you can apply them. After you selected an image, you're just gonna ungroup this folder and you can preview the presets just by hovering the mouse on top of each other. Just like this. If you found the one that you liked, you can click on it to apply, just like this. As you can see here on the right, all the options remains available. These presets can be very, very useful for fashion photographers and for wedding photographers as well that have different exposures for different pictures and they might want to adjust it even further. Let's say uh, you apply this um, filter on this image that has a white bright background. You apply this filter, let's say this one. You, you might like the soft tones of this filter, but if you don't like the grain, you can go here on the right, go into the effects area and you can remove the grain all the way. Or maybe you just want less grain and you can add it. But if you want, you can remove it all the way. Or maybe you want to increase the contrast on this picture. You can very easily do this. And now we have used the presets on two pictures. If you're not sure and you want to check also other presets, just hover the mouse on top of other presets and choose a different one. Let's use this preset number one on these pictures just because I like the high contrast of it. If you want to reset, just go here in this tab and you can reset it. You can easily go back. If you reset it by mistake, just control plus Z or just command plus Z and just undo the settings. Now, let me walk you through all my presets. I have created this preset with portrait photography in mind and all these presets will suit each kind of style and each kind of portrait photography style. No matter if you're a wedding photographer, a fashion photographer, or a family portrait photographer, or maybe you're a studio photographer, it doesn't matter. These presets will work 
with almost any kind of picture. And the fact that you can even edit it further, this will give you higher versatility. I have selected here in this catalog all kinds of images from the studio images like this that are made in studio or taking into a location with nature or with landscape in mind. I'm going to show you a preview of all the presets. Let's go here on the fashion film. And I'm scrolling through them. And I like this last one. It gives a soft warm tone that looks like the picture is like a screenshot out of a movie scene. If it's too warm for you, you can go with the temperature and decrease it. Or maybe if you want it warmer, you can increase the temperature. Or maybe if you want a higher contrast, you can increase the contrast. Keep in mind that these presets are an XMP profile, so you can use it also in the camera roll by importing it. Now let's go into the influencer set. And this image is a completely out of the camera image. Now let's see how the influencer set affects our image. I like 2 and 10. If you want to compare, what you can do if you're not sure which preset looks good on an image, you can right click on an image and create a virtual copy. Let's say here I'm going to choose the preset number 2 that I really like and here I can set the preset number 12 or number 8. Now if I hold shift and click C, now I can get to compare and choose whatever I like. Now if you go back to develop, you get back into this image. I like this filter a lot, maybe on this image I need to increase my shadows a little bit to have more details on the model's clothes. And here I can also decrease my highlights a little bit. And on this image as well, I can increase the shadows and maybe I can decrease the saturation a little bit. I think it's too much. And now look at the before and after. With just one click, you just edit your picture. As easy as this. Now I want to show you the next set of presets, which are from the travel fashion set. This preset works very well with images that have a lot of light, like this one, because of their warmer tones and a high vibrant tones. I use these presets on images that have a little bit more light. They are shoot uh, maybe outside or in a location. As you can see, it has a higher contrast and a higher saturation. But it might give your images a very nice feeling. And it might set your images apart from the others. And I'm going to show you my last one, the vintage set. For this one, I'm going to go with um, maybe this image that is taken in the same studio as this one. And here on the vintage set, so this set is inspired by some vintage fashion magazine and some vintage fashion films.
And as you can see, because it's a vintage set, it has a lot of colors in the shadows and the image is it's softer overall. And I think on this image, like this one, number three. And then I can also increase my shadows and decrease my saturation one stop. I really like how it looks. Also here, this image is straight off the camera. It's not edited or anything. And this way you can preview the whole set. Maybe I like this one, but I'm going to decrease the temperature. And you can also decrease the contrast and the shadows. And this way, with just one click, you can edit your pictures. If you have the whole bundle pack, you can easily scroll to each preset one by one and choose the one that you really like. And this way you can see how it affects the picture. In order to export the images that you want, you can hold command or control if uh, you're on a Mac or on a PC. Let's say you want to export this image and this image. You can go here on the file, export, choose your specific folder. And if you want to keep your settings, that's perfectly fine. You can keep the image format as a DNG, which is a, a raw file, or you can choose a JPEG, increase the quality to 100%, and then you can click export. Now, if you go to the desktop and go into the export folder, you're gonna find your pictures exactly here. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you learned how to install the Lightroom presets. If you downloaded my presets, feel free to tag me on your Instagram profile or on your Facebook profile. And I hope I'm gonna see you in the next one.